The battle lines were drawn today, Democrat versus Republican, over the White House's multi-trillion dollar budget. We've laid out a vision. Start to invest in America, invest in your middle class, make the tough choices, be honest with the American people. I think it's terrifying in the policy implications as well as mind-boggling in the numbers. It comes down to a difference in philosophy. The $3.6 trillion in change budget pours money into services like education, transportation, and energy. In all, it maps out $500 billion of increased federal spending over the next decade, not counting the cost of planned health care reform. The budget is supposed to pay for itself by raising taxes on the wealthy and on corporations and cutting many corporate tax breaks. Republicans call it a plan to redistribute wealth, robbing from the rich to pay the poor and leaving future generations to pick up the massive tab. It's got a $1.4 trillion tax increase in it in the middle of a recession. It doubles the debt in eight years. It never balances the budget. In fact, it proposes for the next 10 years that our deficits are the highest we've ever had on record. Republican heavyweight Newt Gingrich calls President Obama's plan a game changer for the future. He said, I want us to become a more left-wing country with a bigger government, with higher taxes. Now, do you want to go that way or not? The White House says the course the last administration took relied on consumer spending and tax cuts for corporations and the higher paid. And that got us to where we are now, in trouble. Clearly, this budget is changing course. It's like, you know, and the GPS system is uh, recalculating the route and people are getting used to that. The White House hopes to get much of this through Congress by sometime in April. Hearings begin on Capitol Hill this week. Russ? Kimberly, of course, the, the White House will tell you they're pushing this through because the situation is dire. But are there any, uh, any other reasons why they're moving so fast? Well, there are some political calculations going on. Advisors here say that they believe they'll never have this much political capital again. Now's the time to take it to Congress and say, we've got the public behind us. Push this through. Kimberly Dozier at the White House, where obviously it is already snowing. Thank you very much.